Colonel Vernie Reichling is the commander of the Memphis District. He has the uh, operational command in this area and is responsible for the operation of the uh, flood, con flood risk management system in this area, which also includes the Birds Point New Matter Floodway. Uh, Tom Minyard is the Memphis District Chief of Engineering and Construction. He is a subject matter expert that's with us. And Mr. Russ Davis, who is the uh, Chief of the uh, Operations uh, for the Memphis District, also a subject matter expert. Uh, we also have Chief Warrant Officer uh, Lionel Bryant from the U.S. Coast Guard, who is here in a supporting role. Uh, the Coast Guard is uh, working uh, directly with us, uh, although in a supporting role. So uh, we'll get started now. Uh, Colonel Reichling will start out and give you a, a big picture summary of what's going on. Uh, Mr. Minyard's going to talk to you about the uh, operation of the overall flood risk management system. Uh, Mr. Davis is going to talk about the uh, floodway itself, and then we'll open the floor up to uh, questions. So, uh, uh, Colonel Reichling. Okay. Hey, well, good afternoon. First, thanks for coming. Um, let me uh, let me just paint uh, paint the picture for you. First off, you know that the number one priority for the Corps of Engineers is uh, the pr the reduction of risk to the people and the property here, not only in the state of Missouri, but all of the states that we protect in the Memphis district. Um, so that's our number one pr priority is public safety. Um, as you know, Memphis district is, uh, supports not only Missouri, but Illinois, Tennessee, uh, um, Mississippi, and Arkansas, and uh, Kentucky. So we have a very vast uh, 2,500, uh, 25,000 square mile footprint. And we are seeing historic river stages everywhere you can speak. Um, this afternoon, I just got off a uh, flood fighting brief, and, uh, and the Cairo gauge currently is at 58.5. It rose about 0.6 tenths today. Um, it has tapered off, and that is good news. Uh, that, is a, that is a result, a direct result of uh, the Kentucky and Barkley Dam uh, holding back more water than, uh, than normal. Uh, they have reduced their flows. And again, this is a very system approach to trying to prevent uh, not only the operation of the floodway, but reduce the risk of flooding all over uh, uh, from Cairo, Illinois, all the way down to New Orleans. So um, we are happy uh, with that result right now. Uh, however, uh, one thing is of concern is that over the next five days, we expect approximately four inches of, of rainfall over the Ohio and upper Mississippi River. So we're not out of the woods yet. Um, right now, the National Weather Service is projecting a crest at Cairo of approximately 60.3 feet on the Cairo gauge at uh, or about one to three May. They also see that crest staying there for approximately uh, roughly five days maybe even longer than that. Now, I, I will bring Tom Minyard up here in a minute to talk about the overall stress of the system when you have that historic water level uh, on a system such as the Mississippi River tributary system. Um, for, your op for, your, for your understanding, historically wise, in 1937, the floodway was operated when the Cairo gauge was at 59.5. We are going to exceed that. Um, we are going to set a new mark. If things play out as the weather uh, shows right now, we could reach 60.3 on the 1st of May. So we are concerned about that, and I'll let Tom speak a little bit more about that. But I want to make sure that everybody understands that uh, public safety is our number one priority. I also want to make sure that you understand uh, or that you have uh, been made aware of. I know Jim has, has pushed it out. But at 11 o'clock today, um, I recommended to General Walsh, and he concurred, that we would hold the motor vessel Mississippi and the barges of ammunition or munitions that we would use to, uh, to detonate um, or, or to um, activate the project uh, to be held at Hickton, Kentucky. So. Um, I'll ask uh, Mr. Davis to provide you an update on the status, but as of today, as I stand here right now, um, we have made a decision to keep the barge at Hickman, Kentucky, 
and we will continue, I, I emphasize continue, to assess the conditions of the river. Uh, we will continue. And uh, I will tell you that uh, this is a very integrated effort. Uh, General Walsh mentioned it yesterday that uh, not only is he personally talking to um, the Chief of Engineers, but he's also working straightly with General Peabody, who commands the Lakes and Rivers Division, who owns, who helps control the flood of Kentucky and Barkley Dam. So there is a very integrated approach right now. Even, this, even the, uh, the reservoirs up on the Missouri uh, and Upper Miss are starting to hold back water as well to try to, again, prevent any crest above a, a 60, 61, where we would have to then really seriously consider uh, the activation of the product, project. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring Tom up here and I'm going to have Tom provide you with his overall assessment of the system so that will give you a perspective of where we're at. Tom? As, as the boss said, uh, the floodway has been activated. Uh, this feature of the overall M MRT project uh, only once in 1937. Uh, the system has been um, uh, plan of operation been adjusted and, and additional protection provided uh, since those days. So um, we, uh, we're, we're closely looking at uh, two, two primary areas, okay? One is the fact that, as he's alluded to, uh, the current stages and the fact that where that crest is going, how long it might be there, and then the concern over what, uh, what will happen with the additional rainfall uh, coming up uh, this weekend. We'll have to wait and see what actually hits on the ground and, and where what that would do for us. At the same time, parallel, we have lots of boots on the ground. We probably have uh, upwards of 50 plus people in the field over our uh, flood fight area, uh, which includes the whole MRT project in the Memphis district footprint. Um, what that means, the, the primary area, uh, the heavy lifting is up here in, in the northern parts now in and around Cairo, uh, Commerce to Birds Point levee, uh, in the floodway sector here, uh, in, in, in those areas. Uh, bottom line up front, um, we have uh, significant under seepage concerns in the Cairo area, I have had that for quite some time. Uh, what we're seeing today uh, is what we would expect to see at the stages that we're seeing. Uh, nothing would uh, cause us at this moment to be uh, any undue elevated concern over what we uh, w would have expected before uh, this particular flood fight began. However, we need to continue to monitor that closely. Uh, we are working 24-hour operations. We have crews uh, out there during the daytime hours and the nighttime hours uh, looking at that very, very closely. Uh, our, a, a very significant area of concern for us at the moment also is over in the uh, Hickman, Kentucky, Fulton County, Kentucky area. Uh, with some uh, uh, concerning uh, under seepage areas that, that we've known about for a number of years. Uh, again, as, as the boss alluded to here, uh, Colonel Reichling, uh, we're seeing some historic flows and uh, the system is being tested uh, like it potentially hasn't been tested before. And uh, the, as of uh, this moment, we're uh, um, in a, uh, a pretty deliberate uh, um, flood fight effort of the under seepage and sand boils over there uh, in the Fulton County area, um, and uh, we're 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 taking all prudent measures we can uh, to, uh, to 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 flood fight those, and are looking at what additional measures might need to be necessary uh, in the in the next day or so uh, over there. So, uh, historically, we've known about the significant under seepage in the Cairo area. Have been somewhat concerned about the Fulton County area in the past. That has been elevated. We had a recent high water event back in. Early March time frame, uh, where some additional under seepage areas of concern popped up at lower stages. Now we're seeing uh, significantly higher stages, so that, that is an elevated concern for us. Uh, the Commerce to Birds Point levee, no significant areas of concern at the moment. Beginning to see some under seepage on the southern end of, of that piece of the project, uh, but uh, that that's of the three areas I'm talked about so far right now. Those are the um, uh, that, that area is the least uh, problematic right now. Uh, I do want to address uh, an area of concern that I've heard uh, re in recent days, and that's the setback levee that's part of the, the Birds Point New Madrid floodway. Um, we did a, we annually inspect that. Uh, every year have done that for many, many years. Uh, this past fall, I uh, don't have the 
exact date off the top of my head, it was October, November time frame, somewhere around in there, we did a what's called a periodic inspection, a more deliberate, uh, intensive effort of boots on the ground, walking every mile of the levee, uh, either toe and on the toe and on both sides and, and down the crown. Um, based on what we've seen and what we know, we have some minor concerns with uh, vegetative growth here and there, uh, some known uh, uh, areas of, uh, uh, of concern, but nothing that leads us to believe that that setback levy would not perform as designed. It is designed to the same standards, the same strength and uh, its criteria as all the rest of the MRT project. And we have, if, if it became inevitable to operate the floodway, uh, we have no reason to believe that, that that setback levy would not perform as designed. And so, uh, so I think that's primarily what I needed to hit, sir, and we can answer any, any questions if anything was left out. I do have with me Corey Williams. He is our Geotech branch chief. He is our, my technical expert on the uh, under seepage issues and all things concerning uh, levee stability and that stuff. And as serving as the uh, chief of ENC, I also uh, carry the hat of the levee safety officer uh, in the Memphis district. So uh, my pleasure to be here today. Yeah, if we could, let's just let's work. Uh, I do want to emphasize, as our commander has, that everything that we do um, in this regard is deliberate and considered. Um, all of our actions are approved by uh, Major General Walsh, the Mississippi Valley Division Commander. Uh, our role is to execute the approved plan. Uh, that plan, uh, in order to activate the floodway, we would need to crevasse uh, three areas of the frontline levee. Uh, in a nutshell, top level, what we have to do is uh, prepare those three sites, uh, place explosives, uh, prepare uh, those explosives that have been placed for a detonation, and then finally uh, uh, detonate uh, the explosives to crevasse the levee. Uh, what we have been approved to do so far by General Walsh is nothing but preparing the site terms of what we have accomplished to date. Uh, ground crews started work yesterday. Uh, we have completed between yesterday and today the ground preparation at two of the three locations that would need to be crevassed. Uh, we expect to be completed with the initial preparation at the third site uh, by the time we stop work today. Uh, the uh, explosives that would be used to create the crevasses are being transported north on the, in a, a tow uh, being pushed by the, uh, the motor vessel Mississippi. Uh, we have only been approved so far to bring the motor vessel to uh, the Coast Guard station at Hickman, Kentucky, which is a staging point. Uh, that's the only thing we've been approved thus far. Uh, we are listening to the river. Um, uh, attempting to manage flows by uh, moderating releases uh, from two dams, Kentucky Dam and Barkley Dam on the Ohio River. And if everything works like it's supposed to, if the river works for us instead of against us, we'll be able to uh, attenuate uh, the maximum flow uh, below a level uh, where we would have to activate the floodway. That's big picture what's going on. Uh, we have not yet been approved to place explosives. Obviously, we haven't yet been approved to uh, prepare for detonation, um, and we're nowhere close to, uh, to detonating. So in a nutshell, at the top level, uh, that's what we have to do in terms of uh, preparing the site, actions that would be taken at the site to activate the floodway, and uh, that's all I've got.